Welcome everybody. My name is uh, Mr. Mick Logan. I do a lot of math videos uh, on YouTube, and uh, but I want to kind of take a little break from doing some math videos and just kind of have a little talk with you and let you know of a couple things that can help you out in math class and in life. And I've recently talked to a couple students as the year um, has kind of gone on, and students are a lot of looking, you know, for improving their grade, and they're kind of looking for answers on, you know, how they can um, best be successful in their classes. So I want to go through a couple things that I've learned so far in my life um, as a student, as a teacher, and you know, just as really a human being in our society. So, and I think this plays very well into as far as excelling in whatever math class or whatever really you do in your life. Uh, the first thing I was talking with a student and you know they're struggling in my class and the one thing I wanted them to let them know is you know you need to believe in yourself. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to tell you you can't do this or you're not good at that um, or you know you'll never be able to do something. Well it doesn't really matter what other people are going to say. They're just called, call your naysayers. You really need to make sure that you kind of get them away all right and you don't really let them bother you in your life and what you want to do. So the first important thing is you know you need to believe in yourself. Nobody Nobody can help you out if you don't believe that you can do something. And, you know, we don't ever think of people that are successful in any aspect of life. You don't say, oh, they got that way because they didn't believe in themselves, right? It's almost one of the most essential elements that you can think of about obtaining anything you want. You have to believe that you can do it. If you don't believe you can do it, who is going to believe that you can do it? And why should anybody think that you're going to be able to do it? So believe in yourself. That's, that's the most basic thing ever. Um, because that's gonna start everything. If you believe in yourself, that's the foundation for your growth. The next thing is find your will. Um, when looking into you know, finding your will, what I'm talking about is a lot of that good old cliche saying is, you know, if there's a will, there is a way. And this plays a lot into it is, if you're looking into making something out of your math class or I wanna obtain this, you have to have that want. Right? You believe in yourself, hey, I can do whatever I want to do. Well, what do you want to do? Right? Find that will and there's a way. All right? And I know a lot of students, they come into my classes, they may, might not have the background information they need, they might have outside struggles outside of class, but if they have a will, they want to achieve something, there's a way. It might not be the fastest way, it might not be the cheapest way, it might not be the easiest way, but there is a way. But for them to find that way, they need to have that will. They need to know, all right, I want to achieve this. I want to go and get this um, out of this class or out of my life. The last little element is the focus. All right, so, so far we say, hey, believe in yourself. I believe I can do it. And whatever I want to do, I believe in myself. Next thing, I know what I want to do. I have a will to go and do this. Well, the next thing is you got to be able to focus on that. All right, and especially in a math class or in high school or wherever else, you have so many distractions. We have home lives that sometimes get crazy. We have friends that always want us to be doing something outside of what we're trying to focus on um, or trying to get us to do things that maybe we don't want to do. We have a lot of outside influences. And the main important thing is if you've got to focus on what you want and if you just keep on focusing, get rid of those distractions, that's going to help you find your will. So part of being that focus is one thing, knowing what you want to achieve, and then also believing in yourself. But if you can kind of get rid of the distractions, just focus, this is what I want to do, and that's what you're going to keep on focusing on, keep on doing, until you actually achieve it. So, you know, um, these are a couple out of the three staples that I really looked into when I was kind of talking to students, and I said, you know what, if there's three things I want you to really take out of this class, Besides the mathematics and besides everything else that I talk about, there's three things that I can let you go on past my class with. These would be the three things that I want you to take out. Believe in yourself. No matter what you do, believe in yourself. Next thing, find that will. Find what you want. Last thing, focus. And don't stop focusing until you achieved it. All right? All right, guys, thank you uh, for watching this video. And um, you know, I'll have a lot more videos coming up on my uh, YouTube blog and also on my website, uh, freemathvideos.com. Thanks again. Bye.